Hello everyone, today's lesson is lesson 28 on angles. Now, in mathematics, a plane is a flat surface, like a tabletop or a sheet of paper. When two lines are drawn on the same plane, they will either cross at one point or they won't cross at all. When lines, we have lines that never cross, but stay the same distance apart, we call those parallel lines. When the lines cross, we say that they intersect. And there's two ways they can intersect. The first way is to be a perpendicular line, which means that they cross and make square angles, okay, or 90 degree angles. You can see I can draw little squares on them. The other way they can cross is in the in any other way, we call those oblique lines. If they're not perpendicular, then they're oblique. Where lines intersect, angles are formed. So here I have just a bunch of different angles formed with two lines intersecting with each other. The point where an angle intersects is called the vertex. That's where both of the lines come in contact. Okay. Now we can name angles in a variety of ways. Uh, one way is to just name it by whatever the vertex is. So I could call this angle B. And we do that by drawing a little angle symbol and putting the letter B. I can also name this angle using all three of the letters. But the vertex always remember always is the middle letter. Okay, So this could be either called angle A, B, C, so it goes this way, or I could call it angle C, B, A. As long as the letter B is in the middle, either way is correct. We can also call angles by numbers. So here I've got two angles, and this would be angle 1, and this one's angle 2. Now, square angles are formed by perpendicular lines, rays, or segments. We call these right angles. And you can make a right angle with a small square. So all these have these little squares, and that's how we know it's a right angle. Angles that are less than a right angle are called acute angles. You can remember acute so small things are cute. So if it's a small angle, it's a cute angle, just like small puppies are cute or small babies. Obtuse angles are angles that are bigger than 90 degrees. Okay, so bigger than 90 degrees, that's obtuse. So in this problem, it says name the acute angle in this figure. Now, I cannot just name it angle M, because both of these angles could be called angle M. So I need to name it by three letters. Now remember, an acute angle is less than, than a right angle. And a right angle would look kind of like this. So I'm looking for something that's less than a right angle. And we can see that that's this little angle right here. So I would name that angle R, M, Q, remembering that the middle letter is the vertex. I could also call it angle Q, M, R. On B, it wants us to name the obtuse angle. So the obtuse angle is this big angle here, and the three letters are R, M, and S. So I could name this R, M, S, or I can name it S, M, R. This next uh, question asks, in this figure, angle D is a right angle. We know that because it's got this little square. Which other angle is a right angle? Well, we can see that angle C is a right angle because it also has that little square. Now, it doesn't always have to have a square, but just know if the two lines are perpendicular, which means vertical and horizontal, at a 90 degree angle, then we know that it's a right angle. Okay. 
Then it says which angle is acute. So I'm going to look at the two angles, this one here and this one here. Well, I can see that angle A is a small angle. So I know that angle A is acute. And then angle B is a very large angle. It's bigger than 90 degrees than a right angle, so a right angle would kind of go up like this. So that's going to be my obtuse angle, angle B. Now I could also name these by the three letters if I wanted to, but I don't have to for this question. And that's it for this lesson. Thanks for watching.